In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a side navigation menu to your Figma prototype. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up an application that I'm currently working on. This is a recipe application that I'm currently designing in Figma. Right now, I'm working on the home state, which includes a list of featured recipes. So at the top, I have different categories, such as today's favorites, a vegetarian dish of the week, and then also quick meals. I'm currently working on this design, but I'm also going to want to add interactivity to the prototype. So when a user taps on this hamburger menu, the side navigation actually appears. One important thing to note is that I have the home state as one frame, and then I have the overlay as its own frame. So in order to link them both up, first I'm going to go to the prototype section. So I did all of my initial work in the design section, and next I'm going to go to prototype. And then I'm going to click on the thing that I know I want to be interactive. So I want this menu icon to be interactive. So when I click on it in the prototype section, this blue dot now appears next to it. And I can take this blue dot and drag it over to the menu frame. When I release it, then the prototype panel changes. And now it has different characteristics, so it includes an interaction section and an animation section. I can specify what kind of interaction I want to trigger this animation. So I'm going to leave it as on tap, although there are other options. And then instead of navigating to that page, I'm going to want it to open an overlay. I'm going to switch it to that view. And then I can specify exactly how I want this overlay to look. So right now I'll just leave it as pinned to the top left of the page and we can see how that looks. I'm going to want the ability to close the overlay if someone taps outside, so I'm leaving that checked. And then I also like the idea of having a background behind the overlay, so I'll leave that. In terms of animation, it just went to instant. So let's play that and see how it looks. I play the prototype. And when I tap on the hamburger icon, the menu instantly appears. I'm going to want to add a couple of different characteristics to make it feel more natural. So instead of the animation being instant, I'm going to have it move in from the left to the right. And let's play that and see how that feels. That feels much better, but the placement seems a little bit awkward and high on the screen. So instead of having it pinned to the top left, I'm actually going to set it to manual. So when I click manual, an instance of that overlay actually appears on the screen. It's automatically placed on the screen and I can now take it and drag it and move it to exactly where I want it to be. I like the idea of having it float next to where the icon is, so I'm going to leave it right there and then refresh the prototype. So when I tap on this menu, it slides in. Maybe the slide in a little much so I can go back. And you can modify a bunch of characteristics right here. So instead of having it move in, let's see what dissolve looks like. And I'm going to increase the darkness of that overlay so the actual menu stands out a little bit more. When I go back to the prototype, it now looks like this. So that's how I add side menus to my Figma prototypes. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.